Michael, thanks for having me out at, Hi, no the, at the workout this morning. Yeah, thanks for coming. So we joined, we're going to join a local favorite in Colin Macau. And how's he doing leading into Chicago? And uh, yeah, be good to hear about what you think he might be able to run on the weekend. Yeah, Colin's doing uh, great. You know, our uh, two biggest priorities are uh, that everyone gets aligned happy and healthy. And he's really enjoyed the process a lot this year. And uh, he's definitely as healthy as he can be um, going into into Chicago. Um, the goal for our squad is to always have people take a step forward every year, um, which means whether he PRs by a second or two minutes, all that means is it's the best he's ever been. Um, so whatever he does on, on, on Sunday, that's the goal of just being his best, uh, not necessarily the best. Um, he's done all, all the right things, so whatever he does on Sunday will not surprise me. Yeah. And he ran 2.11 at yeah. the Marathon Project in December. Yep. 2.11, some change. He's had a really good progression. Um, he's a good model of uh, kind of what we want out of our athletes, of getting a little better every time out. So he debuted at 2.15, uh, then at the Olympic Trials ran 2.13, then at the Marathon Project ran 2.11. Um, what place was he at the, tri at the trials? Uh, he was 15th at the trials. 15th. Yeah. Okay. And you were talking off camera before about Chicago and just the running environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be good to hear a bit, a bit more about that. Yeah, so I've lived in this area my whole life, and uh, you know I, I love Chicago. It's uh, my favorite city in the world. Uh, but there just wasn't there was a lot of runners here, but I feel like it was more for uh, you know just participating instead of people being their best. And that's you know whatever whatever you're trying to do, that's your best. If it's trying to finish your first 5k or run a 210 marathon or somewhere in the middle I felt like there's a lot of potential here so uh, in life you could either complain about something or do something about it so uh, we started a team in 2013 uh, just to develop athletes you know like Colin Macau like Dan Kremsky like Alyssa Schneider like Kristen Hecker and uh, have them be their best and uh, I'm very aware where we're at the running world you know we're not we're not Bowerman we're not Naz Elite but we're really really good and, um, you know, the type of athletes we get are more of those blue collar grinder type athletes. Um, and I feel like, especially at the marathon distance, um, you know, we'll weaponize those, those people's strengths. So for someone like Colin, his strength is his strength. He can handle a huge amount of volume. Yeah, he's uh, at 150 mile width. Yeah, so right now he's up to, we do everything on time. Uh, so it's whatever I'll assign, like, hey, here's your workout day, here's your medium long run day, here's your long run day, here's your easy days. And then whatever organically happened after that is what happens out of that. Okay. So for this build up, he's, his high weeks have been about 150 a week. Uh, and that, that's the highest he'll ever go. Um, I feel like there's a point of diminishing returns beyond 150. 150 is a little extreme, but um, again, that's his strength. So we're going to weaponize it the best we can. Yeah. Any races or time trials in the lead up? Um, we don't race a lot uh, for, for various reasons. I've never been a big fan of racing a lot, um, and especially a team like ours. Um, we need to train as close to 100% as possible. Um, we did one prep race, which was four weeks out, which is what we always try to do. Um, so they all ran it on dead legs, and I think that's part of the marathon is um, everyone can run fast. It's how do you feel when you're fatigued at mile 16, at mile 18, mile 20. So we want to simulate that at a half. So we did a half marathon uh, four weeks ago locally. Uh, really, really good half. It's called the Hidden Gem Half, where the whole town really comes out and supports the race a lot. Um, so uh, yeah, Colin ran 103, um, felt great doing it. And then our guys uh, progressed from there. Okay. Nice job. Should I go live? Should we post uh, Instagram? <laughs> Miles coming up. Are, are you doing Chicago? Or? I'm gonna hop yeah, in for part. Yeah, yeah. Taking a few days. How long until we start those miles? Yeah. Okay. What what what's she going for? I suspect. Who wants to see that? Who's smart? Alright, Rachel's got it. I don't want to say that. Macau is the uh, short one on inside. I'll probably be leading these are pretty close. Okay, cool. They usually rotate leads. So that's three by mile? Yep, three by mile, a little faster than uh, marathon effort. Okay. All right, let's go!
This is your uh, last workout going into Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, you got three by a mile, just about a little quicker than marathon pace. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I yeah. didn't really pay attention to the time, but yeah, I think it was okay. around marathon pace. Did maybe. you take the split on the first one? No, I, I don't always pay attention to the splits. I'm just going off field and whatever the guys are doing, I'll find it for today. Yeah, cool. Okay. And on Sunday, you're, you're hoping just to maybe run with the Chapman Marathon group and, and see how you do at that pace. It'd probably be around, I guess, 210 to 11, depending on the weather. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just go out, repeat, yeah. see how it feels. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Wait, 30 seconds. Super. Where do you guys want for that? Because I can try it. Let me, I'll take uh, this one. This is I'll drive back to 450 is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I saw like 421. I was like, oh, or 221. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. We're out, out a little quicker. All right, you said 450. Point, yeah. yeah. I think it's 213. Okay. Ready? Where's Asker? Asker! Alright, we got three seconds. I think we're, I don't know, they said they're going at four. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. 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 So how has the, sort of the last three months been in terms of training? Have you had everything go to plan or any, any hiccups along the way? Um, so it was a little bit of a late start. Uh, July I was having some issues. Um, but basically the very end of July, okay. that was gone and then I hit the ground running. Yeah. So I've had 10 weeks. 10 weeks? Yeah, not everything's been good since then. Okay. What sort of volume have you been hitting for weeks? So I was getting up to around 150 for my highest weeks there. 150 miles? Yeah, 150 a week. Okay. Um, yeah. So I went like just under 100, just over 100. Then I think like 130, then was 150 pretty much the rest of the time. Okay. Or a little above. Yeah. So it was a good build up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here, you ready? Oscar, let's go. For the group? Yeah. I
fight, Nate. Yeah, they got, they got some family coming in. Good call. Right. Good job, boys. Mike, we're ready. Nice yeah. Yeah. Did I get it to you already, Oscar? You're yours, man. I know, right? Matt, you got one, too. Just cut off the top. Thank you. Yep. Grab them. Oh, Except Colin's yeah, got the little mini uh, bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't really try to I I had six, and then I saw that there's eight. I ordered two. Uh, the one that says medium. Mike, sorry. Is that yours? Jack? So I'm just doing a fast yeah. four. Uh, uh, Brett? Uh, eight, right? Yeah, eight. I never have them in blue and orange. Cotton Oscar. I think that was nine. No, it was ten, actually. Ask. Stop for me. Battle shirts. All right. What team on so last workout before Chicago, yeah. by a mile, the guys felt pretty good? Yeah, everyone felt good, smooth, um, it's just supposed to be a little faster than marathon effort, uh, so yeah, I checked that box today. Is this what you'd normally do four days before, or have you experimented yeah, no. with different workouts? Um, maybe when we first started, but I feel like we have a routine and our blueprint pretty down path right now, so um, yeah. And what was the second last workout? How far out and what was it? So usually our last hard workout is 10 days out. 10 it's kind of like when you're in college or high school for professors like, hey, you can study up to this date, why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So we kind of look at it the same way with the marathon. If we can still get a benefit from a workout 10 days out, why wouldn't we take it? Yep. And I feel like if we're tapering three weeks out, four weeks out, we probably overtrained and the marathon's probably not go very well. Yep. So kind of like if you go out for a few drinks, you feel fine the next day. If you have 10 drinks, you're gonna probably feel like crap the next day. Same thing with marathon training is, Finding a sustainable dose on like a daily and weekly basis, and then uh, ten days out. Yeah, cut okay. it. Last question: um, Have you given the guys any instructions on in terms of fueling or carbs in the next four, four days, or is it just really up to them? You know, I feel like if I have to give them big talks about that, I, I didn't do my job the last couple of months, so they, yeah. they know what to do. Okay. Um, I really don't have to say much to them. Yeah. Cool. So. All the best to call on the weekend. The other guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for coming out.